सो वी हैव कवर्ड टेन क्वेश्चन टिल नाउ एंड हैव रीच टू अंडरस्टैंड वट आर डेकोरेटर्स इन पाइथन इट कैन बी आस्क एट एनी लेवल एंड दे विल You should have a better understanding of how decorator works in Python. So let's start it. We will divide this in two parts. First, we'll understand it, and later we'll write code to implement the decorator. Coding part I will be covering at the end of this video. So keep watching. First, we'll understand why we need decorator. Let's take a scenario where you have created some function with some code and written some output. But let's say there is a requirement to enhance that function. Decorator can help you here to add functionality to an existing function without changing the structure of the function itself. Let us understand this from the very basic example. Suppose you have a simple divide function which divides two numbers and returns the result. If you pass two parameters, it will go and divide it and it will return us the results and you are happy. There is no error handling we kept there. As you know, we cannot divide anything with zero. But as a user, I pass parameters such that it divides with zero. Now your code will break and generate some kind of automatic exception stating cannot divide by zero or something. So how can we solve this? The one way is to add some validation checks in existing function. As it is a very simple function, it can be done easily. But think of a very large function where you don't want to change the existing structure of that function. Other way is to use the Python decorator to enhance the divide function without modifying the structure of divide function itself. So we'll keep input validation separately in some other function and map that validation function to existing divide function in some way. So in decorator, what do we do? We write different validation function which will accept input as a function and return function as an output. It will also have an inner function in it. Then we decorate the existing divide function. With a validation function using the at the rate symbol. Now, when we call divide function, first our decorator function will get called, and based on the validation check, we can either return error if validation fails, or if succeeded, then we perform the divide. Decorator can be used in many applications like validation check, implementing role-based access control mechanism, caching, etc. We will do practical example code at the end of this video to understand its working. So keep watching videos till the end.